traditional direction at this point and has taken on as one of their main instructors for the CDPE course. Um, when we talked about how he kind of ended up here, um, he has not only the, the classroom capacity to walk in the door and share this information with you, but recently he merged his team with another team in the Salisbury, Maryland area. And between those two teams, they are now closing on an average 10 short sales a month. Wow. So he has not only instructional application, but he has real life application when it comes to the subject matter. You are in for a two day ride. Um, again, I can assure you it will be filled with content. So if you will help me to welcome one of the best instructors we can have with us today, Gina. How are you guys doing? Good. You know, I've had an opportunity to visit with a few of you and heard what you had to get uh, done even to be able to be here this morning, or what you have waiting for you this afternoon so you can be back hopefully tomorrow. Um, and, and I'm just struck at this hour with how good you all look. <laughs> Turn to the people around you and tell them you look good. <laughs> I want to uh, thank each and every one of you for being willing to share your most precious commodity, and that is your time. And I know how important it is, and at this time of the year, uh, the challenges that it, uh, it takes to get these right now that are in REOs that are on the market across America, and there are another two to four million, which is referred to as the shadow market, where the banks have the properties and have not put them on the market. Last year, the number of sales of all residential properties in America was a little under five million. There is the potential for another two million to be able to, who are certainly in default, if the banks really want to be aggressive. But they don't